Hello, tiny tigers. We have Groundhog Day coming up soon. So I just found this book. It's called The Night Before Groundhog Day. It's by Natasha Wing, and the pictures are by Amy Woomer. And I love these books. This is a book series. She writes about all different holidays, the night before the special holidays. All right, you ready to listen with me? "'Twas the night before Groundhog Day and all through our town, everyone was waiting for tomorrow's countdown. Because in the morning, when we all come together, a groundhog will wake up and forecast the weather. That's a groundhog. If it's a bright sunny day, his shadow he'll see. That means six more weeks of winter they'll be. But if it's cloudy and gray, his shadow won't appear. That's what I'm hoping for. It means spring will be here. At school, we did crafts in our art classes. We made groundhog masks. Mine had a bow tie and glasses. You can make a groundhog at home too. Miss Erica made a groundhog puppet that's in our virtual Google classroom. And I think Miss Caravito did too. We made pop-up puppets with flat sticks and cups. We learned baby groundhogs are called cups, kits, or pups. We studied our climate plus the four seasons. The weather changes for all kinds of reasons. Do you know what season we're in right now? Winter. And that groundhog's going to predict if we have more winter or an early spring. There's spring. Then we all voted on what news the groundhog would bring. Everyone but one boy said that there'd be an early spring. What would you vote for? More spring, more winter or an early spring? Let's see. I like winter, said Paul. I'm crazy for snow. Not me, I told him. This cold weather has got to go. At home after dinner, we baked special cupcakes. I added on frosting and coconut flakes. Aw, look at that little groundhog cupcake. We hung our wool hats on hooks with great care. We'll be ready to celebrate. That night I burrowed all snug in my bed while visions of groundhogs danced in my head. It's early in the morning, at last, Groundhog Day. It's not sunny at all, but will the clouds stay? My family bundles up and heads to town square where a crowd's already gathering. There's music in the air. They're waiting for the groundhog. The band starts playing a Groundhog Day song. When it comes to the chorus, the crowd sings along. I look up at the sky. Oh no, the sun's coming out. Come back, clouds, I beg with a shout. She wants an early spring. Excuse me, says a news reporter. What's your prediction? Spring, no winter, he reports. We have a country contradiction. Grown-ups in top hats soon appear on the stage. The mayor reads a proclamation from a fancy scrolled page. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Then we all begin counting backward from 10, waiting for the groundhog to pop out of his den. The crowd loudly chants, wake up from your nap. The mayor waves her cane and gives the den a good tap. When what to our wondering eyes should appear at last but the official predictor to make his forecast. 
His eyes so sleepy, his cheeks so round. He finally climbs out from under the ground. There's our groundhog. Hmm, does he see his shadow? The world wants to know. Will there be spring or six weeks of snow? What do you think? Spring or six more weeks of snow? I guess we'll find out. Happy Groundhog Day.